Like most of you, the dawn of realisation that everything I was used to was turning upside down brought with it many challenges, but also a curious sense of certainty over what I was expected to solely focus upon for the foreseeable future. A lot less distractions than I normally had and the chance to concentrate on one significantly important thing and a feeling that what I was doing might actually be worthwhile and make a difference. If I'm completely honest about it, it was a strangely reassuring time having this singular focus to my day and I never wearied during any of that period. I didn't mind being forced to work from home and I had a suitably undisturbed arrangement to make that possible. But I know that my circumstances were not shared by all. For many, particularly those who work in direct delivery, the work continued as before but the circumstances were now immeasurably more complex than they had been. A return to some form of normal for many of you, whenever that is, in the front line of delivery may actually mean a reduction in the additional complications of what you do and as long as we create a safe environment for you and those you work for and with, this might be very much welcomed. I want, if I may, to concentrate this particular message to those of you who are working from home, in whole or in part, as your circumstances perhaps feel the most alien to what you have been accustomed to in terms of working conditions. If you think of this experience as having an overall trajectory, it would be that we started out with how quickly can we mobilise to deal with this impending crisis through, OK, we see what's coming at us, so let's shift things around to do our best to manage. And then to, OK, we now have a reasonable pattern of delivery that manages in the specific circumstances until the worst seems to have passed. I wonder what comes next. I think the arrival of that last phase, arguably where we are now, has brought to the fore a new and distinct challenge. What does this all mean to me and my role from now on? It has a strange effect both professionally but also personally. I've spoken to a number of colleagues who have admitted to feeling this. I wonder if you're feeling the same. There are many as yet unanswered questions. What do they mean when they say things will not go back to normal? What do they mean by new normal? How do I fit into that? And how does my job fit into that? For those of us working from home, we might additionally question, although I know I can technically do what, technically do what I do from home, do I want to? And for how long will I have the choice? We all do what we do and where we do it for a myriad of reasons. It's rarely one thing. I might go to an office to do a business support task, but I like the company there as well, the camaraderie. We might think, that was fine at home for a few months in a crisis, and I don't have the inconvenience of travel to my work, but my situation will not allow this in the longer term. For others whose questions might simply be, I love this, will they make me come back to that noisy office again? It's a very personal set of circumstances, and like many, I personally face them. And it is anxiety provoking, and leaves me with a feeling of now being a bit unsettled. I accept that it's natural, but it's there nonetheless. So don't be afraid to talk about this openly and honestly with your friends, your family, and your manager. You're not causing problems by doing this. And no one expects you to have a fully formed permanent position on how you feel about what you'd like to happen. You're allowed to change your mind. I know I do regularly. Over the next wee while, well, those conversations will start happening with you all. So please welcome them and be open about how you feel. You'll not be judged and there is no right answer anyone is looking for. We just want to understand how we begin to plan for that new normal in which five days in one office base or unit may not be an option we're able to consider nor think is desirable. What might that mean to you? We're at the very early stages of planning to get as close to a new normal as we can. And you will be beginning to hear reference to re mobilisation safe distance planning in buildings, and many other references that suggest something is happening. But we are some way off finalising arrangements for any of this, and you can very much play your part. In the meantime, stay safe and take care of yourself.